Your MakerBot Replicator 2X experimental 3D printer requires some simple maintenance, which includes replacing the Kapton tape that covers your build plate and also greasing a few of the rods. Always make sure that your MakerBot Replicator 2X is turned off and unplugged when you're going through the maintenance routine. Kapton tape is the orange protective tape that covers the surface of your build plate. Over time, it may get scratched or torn, which will likely affect the quality of your prints. When this happens, you'll need to apply a new sheet of Kapton tape. Begin by peeling off the old tape and discarding it. Now take out one of the die-cut sheets of Kapton tape that came in your customer kit. Peel back the plastic backing on one of the shorter edges of the sheet, about a quarter of an inch. Lay the exposed bit of Kapton tape along one of the short sides of the Now peel off the plastic backing bit by bit while smoothing the newly exposed Kapton tape. Use the tape applicator from your customer kit to add pressure and remove bubbles. When the Kapton tape is applied as smoothly as possible, fold the edges down over the build plate. It's a good idea to wipe down your build plate with a clean, lint-free rag between every print. After every 50 hours of printing, we recommend lubricating the Z-axis rod and the X-axis idler pulley on your MakerBot Replicator 2X. Take a very small amount of the PTFE-based grease that came in your bag of accessories and use a gloved finger to work the grease into the threads. The X-axis idler pulley is located here on the left side of your machine. Squeeze a small amount of the PTFE-based grease directly onto the tiny bit of exposed shaft here and move the pulley back and forth to spread it around. If you encounter anything unexpected while operating your MakerBot Replicator 2X experimental 3D printer, be sure to contact our expert support team by emailing support at makerbot.com. They're available Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time.